What's up, Phoenicians? I am Victor Vic Huerta, and on today's free agent real estate show, I'm giving you three tips on how to get your offer accepted in the seller's market. Are you ready, set, record? I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> Tip number one on how to get your offer accepted in a seller's market. Increase your earner's money. Now, increasing your earner's money makes your contract a lot more stronger when you're buying a house. It shows the seller that you're committed in moving forward in purchasing the home. So the basic principles in Arizona for earner's money is usually 1% of the sales price, but in a seller's market, you have to show the seller that you are committed in buying their home. So increasing your earnest money and putting up some cash upfront shows the seller that you are committed in buying the house. Now remember folks, putting earnest money down is an option to buy a house. You still have the 10 day inspection period before you make your final decision whether you wanna go through and go to the next step, which is the appraisal process. So your earnest money is fully refundable, but in order to slide into those other contracts and compete with all the other buyers out there and beat every other offer, why don't you back it up with some earnest money? Okay, folks, tip number two on how to get your offer accepted in the seller's market. In Arizona, you have a 10-day inspection period before you want to move forward in purchasing the house. Now, you can decrease that time period to five days to show the seller that, you know what, I am committed to moving this property very, very fast. Now, all real estate agents have their preferred home inspector. You may have a home inspector that you want to use as well make sure you get them on the phone and ask them if they can actually do the home inspection within five days. If not, don't insert it in the contract because you will lose the most important step in purchasing the home and that is the home inspection process. Now, shortening the time in the home inspection makes your offer stronger because you have increased your earnest money on step number one and now you have reduced your home inspection period time. Okay, folks, and tip number three in getting your offer accepted in the seller's market is either type or write a heart warm letter to the seller and show them that you really, really need this house rather than wanting this house. So here are some items you can actually put in your letter. Tell them you need to relocate to this area due to work. Maybe it's for schools. Maybe your children need to be in the school district. Maybe you want to be close to your parents and your grandparents want to be closer to their grandchildren. This goes a long way, especially if you are selling your house to buy another house. Now, be personable in this letter. Also, you might wanna put a photo on the letter so you can show the seller so they can see who they're dealing with. And you know what the extra step I would go to is I would actually take out your cell phone and shoot a video of you and your family telling them why you need this house. Send that to your agent, tell the agent to send it to the seller's agent so the seller can actually see the video. Be very thoughtful in what you're going to say in the video and say it from your heart on why you are looking to purchase their house. And remember the key words that I mentioned just a little while ago, what you want versus what you need. We all want something, but when you need that something, that house, you need something for your family, you'll go above and beyond to get what you truly need in life. Once again, I hope you enjoyed these three tips on how to get your offer accepted in a seller's market. I am Victor Villacuerta and thank you for watching the free agent real estate show where we untangle all the real estate lingo so you can make a better sound decision whether you're thinking about selling, buying, or investing in the Valley of the Sun. Until next time.